Hey, I'm Anthony Romano and I'm going to teach you in this video why low calorie diets will actually make you gain fat. Okay, so if you're somebody who's trying to lose weight or get shredded or whatever your goal is, a lot of people are inclined to do low calorie diets and any fat loss diet does require energy manipulation. No doubt does it require a drop in energy intake. However, there is a serious problem if you drop your calories too low and it actually causes more problems than something like giving up eating altogether like fasting okay so i'm gonna explain that in this video because i don't want anybody doing a harder diet that's lower in calories and still gaining fat and getting the opposite of what they want okay so i'm gonna explain that in this video So in case you're somebody who doesn't know who I am, I've been doing the ketogenic diet and fasting for eight years now, and I've been coaching people all throughout that time. Now, by no means am I telling you that keto and fasting are the only way to lose weight or get the body that you want or the lifestyle that you want, but keep in mind, the one thing I am telling you not to do here is ridiculously low calorie diets, okay? Because they will make you gain fat, and I'm gonna explain. So there's a very famous study called the Minnesota starvation experiment. Okay. And this was, you know, you can Google it. It's one of the most well-known studies. Essentially they took a bunch of people and they gave them very low calorie intake. So around 500, 600 calories a day. Can't remember the exact amount, but it was somewhere around there. And they didn't allow them to enter ketosis or the fasted state, which are basically the same thing. Okay. So they didn't allow people to drop their carbs to, enough to the point where their body switched to a fat metabolism and they didn't allow their body to fast, which would also put them in a fat metabolism. So the main you know, premise here is that they were on a carb metabolism and they were eating calories and they were eating a very, very small amount of calories. Okay. I'm not talking 100, 200 calorie deficit. I'm talking thousands of calorie deficit only 500 calories a day. Okay. And to cut you to the finish line here, these people had intense cravings. They were, their hormones were out of whack. Some of these people were losing hair. They were dreaming and fantasizing about food. And for a lot of people, you might, maybe even you, you have a hard time cutting calories anyways, because of this continual hunger. Okay. If you've seen my other videos, you know that that continual hunger is created entirely by your blood sugar. Okay. And your blood sugar reg regulation in this roller coaster ride of blood sugar. But here's the thing. Here's the main problem as to why you're going to gain fat if you drop to 500 calories a day. Okay. For all these people, their body composition was negatively affected. Loss of muscle, gain of fat. And of course they felt terrible. And that's like the main takeaway you should have here, but here's the reason why. Okay. They don't explicitly state this in the study, but this is the, something you can take an implication from the study. So if you're somebody who's not familiar with fasting, you know, you're going to have to catch up here a little bit, but when you fast, okay, your body, a lot of people will tell you, you gain this ability where you're not that hungry. You don't even really care about food. Okay. There's people on YouTube who fast for days on end for months on ends. The most I've done was week, a week fast. I've done that multiple times. And I do regular, you know, two day, three day, four day, five day fast all the time, simply because when you're in the ketogenic state, which is achieved simply by not eating carbs, right? Whether you're not eating food at all, you're technically not eating carbs. At that point, you are going to enter the keto state. Your blood sugar is going to stabilize. Your insulin is going to stabilize and you're not going to be hungry continuously. So when that is prevented, yet you're still eating low calorie intake, your body perceives that as a serious famine. Okay. Think about this. Pretend somebody is in a primal environment. Okay. If you were eating 500 calories worth of food everywhere you go, like you're just picking scavenging, whatever is available. That implies that you are in a very serious situation where you don't have faith in your body to sustain you. So that's like, seems more hippy dippy, you know, woo wah advice, but that's, but hear me out. Okay. The ability to fast implies that your body is able to fast. Okay. So that sounds weird, but the main thing is you're communicating to your body by fasting that you are able to fast. Okay. If you are somebody who's overweight and you start fasting, your body will adjust very quickly. There's lots of research on this. And that's because the body realizes there's a load of fat stores because most people, as long as they're not 4% body fat, you have a load of fat stores. You have nine calories per gram of fat, which is thousands upon thousands of fat energy to burn as long as you're not 4% body fat. Okay. 
if you are somebody who's 4% body fat, what's going to happen is you are going to feel hungry all the time. Okay. And that's because your body does not have these reserves of energy stored. So when you are continuously eating 500 calories, wherever you go, that implies that you have such a scarcity of food that you don't even have the ability to rely on your body's sources of fuel. Okay. So the ability to fast actually applies more, implies more abundance than eating food daily yet eating a small amount because your body is just going to listen to what you're communicating to it on a daily basis. If you communicate to your body that you're only eating 500 calories a day, your body will take the message that, hey, clearly we don't have enough fuel stored on us that we have to keep eating these carbs, keep getting this blood sugar spike. And essentially, if you do that 500 calorie diet on a keto metabolism, so no carbs, you'll have a much easier time, but it will still be very difficult. And again, that is attributed to the lack of blood sugar spikes, okay, continuously. But when you're spiking your body, spiking your blood sugar with those little carb meals or basically keeping your body on a carb metabolism while eating 500 calories a day or even 1,000 calories a day, what's going to happen is your body is going to perceive a serious famine. It's going to say, listen, clearly we don't have the ability to abstain from food altogether. So what it's going to do to rebound from that is it's going to make your body very sensitive at storing fat because essentially if it believes that there's only it's you're scavenging every piece of food in sight it will make your body more sensitive to storing fat as a response to the communication you're telling it that there is not much fuel on hand okay so essentially your body's going to try to hang on to more fat because you're eating such scarce amounts of food every day and the next time you start eating more food it's going to try to convert more of that to fat it's going to try to convert it already knows it's going to, you know, have to bite the bullet on protein synthesis. It knows it knows it's going to have to bite the bullet on a lot of processes that will make you thrive because your body is a survival machine. It knows that surviving is more important than thriving. Okay, it's part of the hierarchy of needs. Okay, it's more about surviving, and then you can focus on thriving. So your body's going to downregulate all your hormones. It's going to downregulate protein synthesis. That's why people's hair is falling out on the Minnesota starvation experiment. That's why people are craving food all the time because their body is saying, "Look, just get them food." Food. Just get me food. That is what your body is saying because of what you're communicating to it based on your eating habits. So the main point here is if you communicate to your body that there is only 500 calories worth of food daily available to you and you're picking out the berries or whatever else food is available based on what you can find, your body will absolutely try to counteract that and say, hey, next time we get some food on our hands, next time we get some sugar, we're going to store that. Okay. It's all an adaptive response to make you survive because thriving is a secondary priority, okay? So, and if we didn't have this ability, we wouldn't have evolved to this point because if you didn't have the ability to prioritize survival rather than thriving, we wouldn't have made it very far as a species. So the main point here is, yes, I do think keto and fasting are better alternatives. You're certainly gonna feel better. You're gonna feel smoother. You can make videos talking about these topics, right? And try not to be the, around the bush too much, like I might be right now. But the point is, you're gonna have a much easier fat loss experience. You won't have to cut the calories back. You won't have to deal with the constant hunger, going to bed hungry, hanger from blood sugar crashes. Okay, you're not gonna have any of that. And you know, although you don't have to do it, I absolutely believe it's a it's a bullet that you should bite to have you know two or three days of getting adapted and well getting into ketosis and maybe having a very hard time with that. But after those two or three days, you are going to feel so much smoother, so much sharper, and your body will experience a, a much funner diet than simply a low calorie carb inclusive diet okay so that's the main point here is that eating in that scarce manner 500 calories a day gives your body more of a sense of scarcity than not eating altogether because think about it the ability to fast implies abundance it implies you have an abundance of fuel you're good okay your body's not your body will adjust its hormones to reflect that it will adjust its hormones to say okay yeah let's just keep churning through this body fat if you are eating constantly in small calorie amounts your body will say shit clearly we don't have a lot of fuel on hand otherwise we would just fast Okay, so that's the main point. I know I kind of explained it in a sort of personified way, you know, but that's essentially the reactions your body will receive as a response to what you're communicating to it. Okay, that is it for this video. Follow me on Instagram. Follow, click subscribe on YouTube. Click like on this video as well if you like the video. And leave me some comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Anthony Romano, peace.